welcome to this channel if you have a problem like we weren't able to confirm your identity so we didn't request we didn't review your request or um you have something like okay identity confirmation failed we are always looking for the security of our community because your identity cannot be confirmed you won't be able to request a review i will show you how to get a solution to this problem and i'll also tell you why it happens how to solve it and what to do in several situations because the thing is um the identity confirmation for a user account and business manager or page if it fails they are different some of them can be resolved some can also be resolved you have to understand the different complexities involved and how to tackle them at any point in time okay if you are new to this channel turn on the notification bell and take time to watch this video to the end subscribe to this channel leave your comments in the comment section because i'm going to make sure that i'll help you to get a solution even if you watch this video to the end and you are not able to get a solution you can follow the links in the description to contact us we will help you to be able to get your problem resolved and before i continue i want you to take a look at the testimonies you can see on your screen these are people who had several other issues relating to identity confirmation advertising restrictions and we were able to help them across the world from the us to canada to india to bangladesh to pakistan to the united kingdom to finland to netherlands we have helped all of them and we will help you too so please take time follow it you can check the whatsapp link in the description to whatsapp us if you have any more uh, problem okay so let's continue now you first of all um let me even tell you why why you may be asked to confirm your identity there are several reasons why you may be asked to confirm your identity one if there is a suspicious activity on your account relating to security let's say um you log in you are advertising okay and there is a new login to um a login to a new device okay you are advertising and there is a login to a new device and all of a sudden you start to run an advert that may be a suspicious activity relating to the advertising that's one another one um let's say that you are using two or three accounts and facebook the system is able to detect that there are multiple accounts for this user they will disable your account and ask you to confirm your identity number three if you try to create a business manager most of the time if you try to create a business manager you may be asked to confirm your identity number four if you violate a facebook policy you know, an advertising policy you may be restricted and then you you'll be asked to confirm your identity and request a review so there are all there are several reasons why you may be asked to confirm your identity and request a review all those i mentioned are some of them but that is not all but they are the major ones then number five it could be a mistake the mistake normally happens most of the time um when the system suspects that this is a suspicious activity it may not but it suspects so what it happens is that it will just disable you and ask you to confirm your identity and request a review okay and because of a lot of fraudulent activities on facebook they always want to make sure that they eliminate crime so if they are asking you to confirm your identity and request a review don't worry it's not anything once your account uh, if your account is disabled you just need to confirm your identity and you can request a review those are the five possible reasons why your account may you uh, you may be asked to confirm your identity okay now what do you do in each of the situations how 
if you confirm your identity before you if you want to confirm your identity and it will work you have to make sure that you change your first and last name to match with the id card you're going to use your first and your last name must match with the id card you're going to use okay now what are the ids that they accept they accept voter id card they accept national id card they accept um passport they accept a uh, driving license these are the um the id card that you need and each of them it must have a very clear picture your birth date your first and last name and your gender just exactly as it appears on your facebook account so some of you the reason why your identity confirmation wasn't successful is that before you submitted your id you you didn't make these changes your face your name on the facebook wasn't matching exactly with your name on your id card but you still submitted maybe your birth date wasn't matching but you still submitted maybe your gender was not matching but you still submitted the id card that could be the reason why your identity confirmation fails in some rare cases your name your first and last name your date of birth your gender everything could still be matching with your id card and your identity confirmation will still be rejected that is a more technical case and the reason why that happens is that if you are using an id card where you have used that id card previously for another facebook account you may have this problem especially if you use that id card for a facebook account and it has it is not up to one year because for your information facebook stores your id card up to one year if you use that id card for another facebook account facebook stores it up to one year even if you haven't used that id card for another facebook account but let's say you have multiple accounts on facebook which is against their policies so once you have multiple accounts, if you are even using that ID card for the first time, but because you have multiple accounts, your identity confirmation may fail. Okay? That is the reason why your identity confirmation will fail, even if you have the same name on Facebook and Instagram, the same date of birth and the same gender. Okay? Now, what do you do? How do you resolve this problem? Okay. To resolve this problem, there are several approaches but some of them cannot be resolved but let's look at those that can be resolved on your left hand side here if you go to account quality and for those who don't know how to go to account quality you log into your facebook first and then you go down scroll down to your left hand side and then you see um ad manager and then if you go to um, your ad manager, you see these three lines, all tools, then you go there and click on account quality. Okay. So when you get to account quality, you check at the top here, when you see account overview of Facebook account, Facebook account means that this is the user account. Okay. And for your information, it could be user account identity confirmation. Okay. We have the identity confirmation for a business manager account. We have the identity confirmation for a page and all that. If it is the identity confirmation for a Facebook user account, and you see here, for example, let's say um, like what you're seeing here, Identity confirmation field. We are always looking for the security of a community because your identity can be confirmed. You won't be able to request a review. If you see something like this, what it means is that your account is disabled and your identity confirmation field. You cannot request a review because your identity confirmation field. But in case you happen to get an opportunity to request a review, you will be able to run uh, to you'll be able to request a review so for example let's say that your identity confirmation failed here 
and then you were not able to request a review and this one because it's a user account you can't add someone as an administrator to this user account so someone cannot request an identity confirmation for you so in that case it means that you, your only option is if your account happens to have some any security threat like really suspicious activity and facebook asks you to confirm your identity for example sometimes you could even forget your login details and then um you want to reset your password and then maybe you choose that you have lost access to your email and in that case sometimes facebook can um they, they can ask you to confirm your identity to get your uh what do you call it for them to give you access to the account again so in that case if you are lucky to have that situation you can confirm your identity and when you come back here the request review button will be open and you can request a review okay also if you don't have that option like um being asked to submit your identity verification for that there's another option another option could be sometimes when you try let's say your birth date was wrong and you are trying to change it to your actual birth date but you've already changed it several times do it so after changing if you want to change your birth date for the third time they will ask you to either sub to submit an identity verification before you can change it in that case if you are lucky to have that option you can request you can uh, submit your id card they will confirm your identity and you can request a review in account quality there is a third option but i'll tell you that one later in this video okay so the other option is if it is a business manager what you can see here is a business manager for a business manager if your identity confirmation field it is not a problem what you just have to do is to make someone an administrator and how do you do that you just come to your business settings so you click and go to um business settings let me just open business settings in a new tab you go to your business settings then you scroll down and then go to people you click on add you put the email of the facebook user that you want to add follow the prompt to add to invite the person and then that person will accept once that person accepts he or she can follow the process to request uh, to sub uh, to do identity confirmation for you and it will work that is if it is a business manager or a page if it's a page you just go to your page and add the person as an administrator and he can request a review for you that is in the case of failed identity confirmation for a page and a business manager you cannot do that for a user account if it is a user account as i told you earlier what you have to do is if you are lucky to find another way to confirm your identity now some of you the problem that you have is um you are deceived to follow this procedure by it won't work let me show you some of you will come to your account uh, your settings your profile settings and go to identity confirmation in fact that one is identity confirmation for political advert identity confirmation for political advert here if you confirm your identity here we call it identity confirmation for political advert it won't help you okay you won't be able to use it to reinstate your disabled advertising account so forget of that particular procedure okay now there is another procedure for those whose identity confirmation is disabled and is a user account this is the procedure now when you see if you see identity confirmation field or you see advertising access permanently restricted and you see after a requested review of your facebook account we confirm that it didn't comply with our advertising policy in fact if it is advertising access permanently restricted and you see something like because your identity confirmation or because your identity couldn't be confirmed your advertising access is permanently restricted and this is our final decision that particular one you cannot have any other option to regain that account back once you see advertising access permanently restricted you cannot get access to that account back even if you want to even if you contact Max Zuckerberg, that account cannot be reinstated. So in that case, I will advise you not to waste your time. Okay, you know, you don't, if, because whatever you do, you won't be able to get it reinstated. For that one, if it's a user account, forget and get another user account. If it is a business manager, then 
get some uh, create another new business manager if it's a page create a new business uh, uh if it's a page create a new page however if it's a user account and you see um that you cannot request a review because your identity confirmation field as i was telling you here and you cannot also add someone as an administrator and you don't have any other option to request a review this is the final step i would advise you to take you follow this link there's a link here this particular link i will leave it in the description so you check in the description you will be able to get access to this link if you follow this link you will be able to do something we call individual identity verification for facebook developers individual identity verification for facebook developers now you may not be a facebook de developer but they will ask you to create an account for a facebook developer and then you follow that step-by-step -step process to confirm your identity so make sure that the changes i was telling you earlier on you make all those changes then you get started they will ask for me i'm already um a facebook developer but they may not ask me but in case they ask you to confirm they ask you to uh, create an, an an account for um facebook for developers you get follow the steps it's not anything you put your email your details they will send a verification to your email you confirm it and then your 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 account for facebook for developers is created they will ask you to proceed to uh, submit your id and these are some of the ids that they accept as i was telling you earlier on so you follow that step by step process to 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 to, to request a review and if you are reinstated i can confirm to you that um the the identity confirmation will help you to get reinstated but what i can say is it can help you it has worked for some people it has not so worked for some people but if you follow it it may help you or if that 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 doesn't work check the link to the video above i have done a video on that for a step-by-step -step process on how to contact Facebook advertising support. And when you contact Facebook advertising support, you'll be able to get reinstated. I know, and I believe that if you take time to follow this procedure, your account will be able to get reinstated and um, you'll be able to confirm your identity and then get your account reinstated. Even if you follow all these procedures and you didn't get a solution, please remember to follow the links in the description to contact us. We'll help you so that you can advertise again and be able to um, make more sales online thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe if you didn't subscribe i know most of you watch and you don't subscribe please subscribe just to help us grow our audience and also get this video reach out to more other people who are interested uh, and people who have problems like you thank you once again for watching and have a great day Bye bye